So I'm just getting on the bus back to head, well, to head down to Busan still. We have about an hour to go. And we stopped at a little like pit stop rest area. And it's so nice. It's like a little mall. It's got some food, it's got shops and everything. And they're so beautiful because there's so many mountains over here, um, which I personally think the mountains here are better than the mountains in Colorado. They're just so green. So gorgeous view. I'm gonna get back on our bus right there. We're going to be heading to the UN Memorial like Cemetery for the Korean War. So I'll see you guys there. Well, June 25th war. The whole ride from Seoul to Busan took about five hours. Here is our bus. And once we arrived, as I mentioned, our first stop was the UN Memorial Cemetery. The views in the cemetery were absolutely breathtaking. You could see all the flags that represented the United Nations, as well as you could see the city and the skyscrapers of Busan behind it. After a quick tour around the site, we were off again. Uh, Busan was a uh, just big fishing village. Throughout the trip, we were lucky enough to have a Korean tour guide who helped explain Busan and its importance within the Korean War. Additionally, you can see Busan is definitely a fishing city. I love the views here as we went through the tunnels and over the bridges. The next part of our trip was, of course, the famous Busan cable car. In the next clip here, you'll see that we got these little gold medals, which was our passes to do the cable car. And when we were there, we of course wanted to try the glass floor. There were two options though, so if you didn't want the glass floor experience, you could definitely get a cable car with a solid floor. If you ever get a chance to go to Busan, this is truly a must-do attraction. It was so fun to see the city again through a different view and see the ocean at the same time. Hi! Hey! I look like I'm naked. I'm wearing clothes. Once we reached the top, we got to take in some final incredible views. And then since we had a round trip, we got to take the cable car back down again. Next on our trip was the Busan Fish Market. Here's views from the bus as we pull in. Let me tell you, it was huge. I didn't expect that many people to be selling all these types of fish. And after seeing all of them, I think I might go vegan for some time. Okay, so now after the fish market, we stopped in Busan for the film festival here and we got some street food. So I got some vegetarian dumplings, which is awesome. They were just filled with noodles. It was like a five out of 10, like it was good. It wasn't the best dumplings I've had. And then we stopped at Gongcha and I got a Blackstone smoothie kind of fun name. It's giving me like a Snickers kind of vanilla -y vibe, um, but it's really good and it's really hot out, so this is perfect. Now these next few clips show some more street food that we got to try. That right there is like a rice taffy thing. I don't really know what it was, but we've seen it a couple places now. And then that is a Mexican corn on the cob. Very fancy. We didn't expect him to pull out the flamethrower here, but enjoy this time-lapse video. Oh, that looks so good. rolled around, we had one final excursion for the night, and that was to check into our hotel. So this is the hotel that we stayed in, the Busan Business Hotel, and it was pretty fancy. Then after we checked in, the night was ours, and it was young. So for the rest of the night, we did a little bar hopping, went to a few clubs, and ended the night off with some bowling. On the next day, we woke up bright and early, like 7.30 early. Yeah, I may have only gotten about four hours of sleep that night, but it was totally worth it. We went to a Buddhist temple. Here are some really scenic views from the temple. It's fun to walk around. It reminded me much like Chinese temples, but here is the view. You can see the ocean here, and here is a little selfie moment. Our very last stop was hitting up Hyundai Beach. And then we took a photo and we were off back to Seoul in our five hour bus ride. <laughs> 